In this tutorial, I will guide you through the steps that are required to install Paparazzi on a Linux operating system. Ubuntu 12.04 Long Time Support Operating System has been chosen for the installation, as Paparazzi supports this version of Linux. Other versions of Linux are also supported and can be used, but may require different steps during the installation. So, let's start. The first thing to do is to go to the paparazzi uav.org website. This will lead you to the main page of the wiki. Scroll down to the software section and click on installation. Because we're using a Linux operating system, we will go to the operating system specific instructions and select Linux. In Ubuntu, the software is stored in archives called repositories. The Paparazzi software can be found in the Paparazzi UAV repository. As you can see, a repository is a collection of packages. These packages contain all the software you need to run Paparazzi. To add this archive, copy the following command. Go to the terminal and paste it. It will ask you for your password. Press enter. You have now successfully added this repository. We will now update the package index. Copy this command and paste it in the terminal. Press enter. We update the package index to be able to access the available packages and to make sure the latest changes have been included. To run the Paparazzi software, we need to install the Paparazzi dev package. Copy this command and paste it in the terminal. This package will automatically install all the required dependencies. As you can see, there is a long list of packages on the screen. These are all the dependencies you need to run Paparazzi. Select Yes and press Enter. This might take a while, depending on your internet speed and the speed of your computer. This package did not install everything, however. If you would like to run simulations for Rotocraft, for example, you might want to install the GSB sim simulation method. Let's install this additional package as well, which was not included in the dependencies of Paparazzi Dev. We will use the same type of command, namely sudo apt get install paparazzi. GSB sim. Press enter. Enter the password. Let's move to the next step. If you would like to program processors like the STM32, you will need a cross-compiler. This package can be found in a different repository. 
at this repository. Now update the package index. And finally, install the cross-compiler package. In case you would want to program the AR drone processor, you will already have the required cross-compiler software installed, as it is included in the dependencies of the previously installed Paparazzi dev. We have now reached the next step in our installation, which is getting the source code. We will open the general installation page. The paparazzi source code is stored on GitHub. The code looks as follows. The code might be different depending on the branch which you are using. As you can see, there are many branches. Currently, we are using the master branch. To copy this code to our computer, we will use the following command. Paste it in the terminal and press enter. We will now check that the code has been copied to our computer. Let's open the home folder. And you can see we have a paparazzi directory containing all the code. We are now automatically located in the master branch. This is the developer's branch. It contains the most recent changes and most probably this code has not yet been tested. If you want to develop new code, use this branch. To start with, however, I would recommend to use a stable version of the code. So we will switch to the latest stable release. The latest stable release will be mentioned. In this case, it is version 5.0. Before using that command, we have to move to the paparazzi directory use change directory command copy git checkout version 5.0 to the terminal and press enter we have now switched to this branch we have to go back to the previous installation page as we still need to add a set of rules to our computer's rules. This will allow Paparazzi to work in combination with USB connections, for example. The first step is to move to the Paparazzi directory. However, we have already done this. Therefore, we can copy the second command and paste it in the terminal. Now go back to the main installation page. The final steps are to make and launch the software. Type make in the command window and press enter.
our final command is to launch the software. Type dot slash paparazzi. This will open the paparazzi center. I will now give you a brief overview of what it can do and in later tutorials we will look at it more in depth. We will select an aircraft, we will run a simulation and execute. As you can see, here is our aircraft and we can make it fly a certain flight plan. Thank you for watching.